doing work is more important than doing someone's work. But we boys, we are coming, we, we just, we need quick money. So we don't like learning and we don't want to go to submit ourselves to someone. So I would advise them to try and get their own handworks, especially sewing. Sewing is the best, but we, we don't know. Do you have any special way of attracting customers? Someone who hasn't sewn from you before. Mm -hmm. How do you attract this person? Okay, sometimes my 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 dressing, how I dress. Okay. The person saw me and he called and he said, Ah, so how where do you sew your dress? And I said, Oh, I'm a tailor, I'm a fashion designer, and he come to me. Okay. Most of the times it's come out from my dressing. Okay. And other customers to bring customers. Alright, viewers, uh, I think you saw the tutorial video I just did with Apia. And you can really see the man knows what he is doing. Alright, so I'm just going to interview him a bit to know how he gets customers so that you can also learn from it. How he has been able to develop his business to this point. And he's still learning. The kind of apprentices that he has gotten, how he trains them, are they difficult for him? Is the job too difficult? Must people quit? What's the motivation? Alright, Afia. Yeah. So we can see you are really good. Um, where did you learn the job? Uh, or is, is it just a person? Uh, is it just a talent or you learn from someone? I learned from someone. For, for, for how long now have you been in this industry? No, it is um, 11 years. Been 11 years? Sure. Uh, is the 11 years um, the years that you have been your master on your own or? Yeah, I've been master on my own. What about the years that, that's how many years did you learn? Three years. Three years, so three plus 11, that's 14 years. 14 years. Wow. So you have been in this industry for 14 good years. Sure. Okay, okay. Uh, so how many apprentices have you trained so far? Um, four. Four apprentices? Sure. And uh, are you still with them or, or some have graduated? Only one, one we graduated. And one graduated. Sure. Does it mean that you used not to take apprentice? Or you have always been taken by, they don't really come? Yeah, I've I've opened my door for apprentices. Okay. Sure. Okay. So currently, how many do you have now? So now I have three. You have three apprentices? Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Uh, so how, how do you feel? How is the job? Mm. If you know how to handle your customers, you, you can know that this work is very good and nice. It brings money. Okay. Sure, when you pay attention on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. And then the other thing I know is you always know how to entertain your customers and how to welcome them. So yes. how do you how do you entertain your customers? You you always make them feel like they are they give you money. Sure. So sometimes they I don't know how to they are very difficult. Yes, so okay. if you know how to handle them, how to humble yourself to them, okay. then so, you so know how to talk to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So the way that you handle difficult customers is you humble yourself. Sure. Okay. Sure. So let me ask you this. Let's say a customer comes here very angry at you because you, you did the work for the customer and then there's a bit of a mistake somewhere. And the customer is not willing to listen to you, even though you, ha you have humbled yourself. What do you do? Oh, the way you do is you will not talk much. You let him talk uh, and uh, and you leave him. You the way you say is I'm sorry. Just forgive me. It won't happen again. You okay. just beg him or her. Okay, sure. So he will say that no matter how the customer confronts you, the customer is always right. So if only you want his money, then you must make yourself a boon. Sure. That's working on the food for your customer or the horse. Being ridden or yeah. You understand? So don't don't feel that you treat customers anyhow and you still go to church to pray for customers. <laughs> it won't happen. Sure. Because even when the sport gives you the customers, you mistreat them. You must treat the customers. So it won't give you more. Alright. So uh up here. In case someone on my platform wants to link up with you 
can come here. Sometimes they call me that they want to learn just for three months. Okay. Some say they want to learn just for six months. Mm -hmm. Do you have plans for people like that? Or you only take full apprentice? Well, I have plans for them. Okay. If the if the person is really um, confused to do it, then I'm also ready for him or her. Okay. I'll get okay. time for her. Right. I'll change everything and I'll concentrate on her so that she can know it fast and right. sure. I am not asking you to put out how much you earn, but in order to entice our people, at least let them know how or what it is that they are entering into when they are venturing this business. How much do you think in a month, at least, someone stands to gain? Not you per se, but someone stand to gain, stands to gain in this business if they are doing the right things. Okay. Not less than 2000 In a month? Sure. Wow. There are many of us who are in people's businesses and we are being paid 300 cities a month and then we are okay. But Apia is telling you that at least a month, if you, are, if you know what you are doing, and you are doing the right things, you shouldn't be getting less than 2000 So what are you waiting for? Why are you all piled up in people's businesses, people's companies that they are not even paying you all? Okay, so let's say within a year, if it means that if you are able to make 2000 a month, and I know that there are some months that it won't really go well like that. Sure. Okay, so let's say within a year, how progressive or how, or how, how much do you think one can earn within a year? <laughs> you, so do we take it like fourteen thousand? Mm, let's take. Uh, oh no, fourteen thousand is like for seven is, months. Is for, is for seven months. So let's say twenty-eight thousand. Yeah. Wow. Twenty-eight thousand. So you just make it twenty thousand. Twenty thousand a year. For a year. But even if you are not investing yes. your money in anything, you are just keeping the money. Sure. So if you are getting money, you are investing. It means that in a year. You be getting more than that. Yes. All right. And if you have many apprentices to under you, it pays a lot. Okay. So right now that you know, I'm sure next time that you are thinking about things to learn, fashion will be part of the things that you will consider. Sure. So let's say uh, someone wants to come here as an apprentice. What is the process that the person must go through before you accept the person? Okay. Damn. Uh, him or her payment will be different from the others okay. because she's just going to spend only three months and i have to spend my time on him or her okay so let's take it if i i'm collecting um 50 cities then you or her will be 100 cities okay. or 75 cities okay yeah so you mean that at least there should be some extra, extra amount yes. coming so from the person because yeah. uh, the person is going to squeeze you and get the three years knowledge in for six months and yes, three months. Sir. Yeah. Okay, that's that's reasonable. So the, the price will be different from the okay. one who is going to spend um three years. Okay, so aside the price, uh what must the person do? Is it is it do you pick for do you do you give forms? Sure, I give forms. Is the form for sale is it's free? It's for sale, twenty okay. cities. Okay, the person must first pick form 20 cities. 20 cities. Okay. And what are some of the things that you demand on the form? The forms, you you come with your scissors, your chair, um, um, uh, must the person come with the machine? Yeah. Have your own machine also? Okay, now the machine are not many. But yeah, are not many for them, so. If you have machine, you can bring it. But if there is no machine and you come, you know how to. And there will. Yes, and okay. things for you so that. Okay. Yeah. So uh, some some also say that uh, if you are an apprentice, you, you want to come here as an apprentice, you have to get your own fabrics that you be practicing with. Do you also do the same? Oh yeah, yeah. You can with. It's not all time. I My fabric. So you, in terms of any practicals you, you you go for your own probably like calico or okay uh, so you see sometimes to it's not every day that there's a job uh, sure, this sure, sure, this, sure. this work is a seasonal work sure so if there is no job coming let's say today there's no job mm -hmm. that means that as an apprentice are you going to stay in the shop just doing nothing no yeah so you can come with something ah, so, so you have to come with your fabric yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Fabric now 
What is your motivation? What keeps you going on in this job? Why don't you give up? Because I, I know this job is really stressful sometimes. Sure. Why don't you give up? Oh, well, I will not give up. You know, it's, it's my passion. It's a passion for me to do. So, and I love the work. Yes, I love it. And I, and I, I always want to do it. So I, I don't give up on it. But do you ever feel like giving up sometimes? Oh, sometimes someone comes here and give what you are uh, actually. <laughs> Not easy. <laughs> so it really, it really makes you feel like so, you have to quit this this job okay. and then not this job. You can't talk to me just like that. Okay. You can't fuck me. But all the same, I concern. I just concentrate that it, it it's it's part of the business. yeah. It's part of the, yeah. So in fact, that's the hazard of any any job. Any that job with yes. customers. Even even a president to collect himself. Yes. You have been hitting the president. Sure. Even so. they allow, yeah. This week the president will really much on heat. Sure. So <laughs> Okay. Okay. I don't uh, give up on it. Okay. But then uh, so you advise people that uh, those youth in this country that are not having jobs to mm. they because they think they, they've gone to university and then Mm. They they have to be wearing suits. Mm-hmm. They can't see to show them the suit, but they are not they, themselves are not having anything to do. What advice will you give them? Mm-hmm. As hand work, you will get it. If you have your own work to do, Charlie, you won't get. So I will advise them to try and get their own hand works. Especially sewing. Sewing is the best, but we, we don't know. Let's put everything aside. You you sew your own dress, you can dress in no time, you know. You see? Yeah. So for me I will advise them to find a handwork to do. If handwork is more important than doing someone's work. But we boys we are coming, we, we just we need quick money so we don't like how we don't like learning and we don't want to go to to submit ourselves to someone so okay. I would advise them to learn learn your, 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 yes your own work get something that like you can do with your own hands your, yes it, it will be better for him that appears advice sure. for the youth in Ghana sure. who are always crying on the government mm-hmm. seeking help from politicians yes who are so, unreasonably yeah. not yielding to our plea so his advice to you is that seek help from people like him those who can give you a craft why you wouldn't have to depend on government so much even though government policies will affect you some way somehow sure. even if the, the state is still hot enough he still keeps himself going because there's work all the time to do yeah. right okay so Apia sure. how many years do you expect your apprentice to stay in your shop to stay with you oh three three years three years three three to three and a half years and that would be okay okay when, your, uh, time, uh-huh. when your time reach and you want to go I won't force you to stay okay. just I will allow, I will allow you to go Okay. Yeah. Do you give certificates here? Sure, I give certificates. Okay. Uh, uh, certificate mm-hmm. and um. Oh, mercy. Certificate maybe. Testimony. Testimony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Certificate and testimony. All right. Uh, we've been going to places, okay. and sometimes our purchases have been giving us complaints sure. that their masters and seamstresses are playing them wiki. Sometimes when they want to cut, to make sure the apprentice is not around. Uh, as a form of punishment, uh, do you how do you punish your <laughs> apprentices? For me, I don't know how to explain it, but <laughs> I want to speak my language more. Okay, Charlie. So when to me and she ignore me, why then? To me, she ignore me, yeah. Because I give them freedom. Okay. Yeah, I give them freedom. They even they can testify. Sure. Right. So what he meant when he spoke the local language was that if you are not able to learn from him or learn under him, then you can't learn under anybody else because he offers so much freedom that you feel like you are a master already as an apprentice. Okay. So up here, uh, as we are bringing this interview to a close, what's your? Uh, let me see. Uh, do you have any special way of? 
attracting customers. Why? Let's okay. say uh, uh, someone mm. who hasn't sold from you before. Mm. How do you attract this person? Okay, sometimes my 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 dressing, how I dress. Okay. The person saw me and he called and he said, Ah, so how, where do you sew your dress? And I said, Oh, I'm a tailor, I'm a fashion designer. And he came to me. Okay. Most of the times it's come out from my dressing. Okay. Yeah. So he's saying that. Uh -huh. And other customers to bring customers. Okay. So yeah. when you serve someone well, yeah. they also go and bring you. Sure, another customer. Okay. Yeah. So one thing is that. This work is like when you are a fowl farmer, you are a poultry farmer, right? And you are not wearing poultry, but local birds. You see, when you give the first birds more food, they go out and they bring more birds. All right, when you give them more food and the food is good enough, they go out and they bring more, more birds. But the day that they come and you don't feed them more, they go out and they will not even come again. That's how the fashion work is like. So he's saying that he, when he treats the customers well, they go and they bring more customers. And also, he has been sewing for himself. I've been seeing Master Pierre around. He has been sewing for himself, and sometimes not even what attracted me to him. So, those of you, the uh, designers and tailors, that when you sew, you don't even want to even sew for yourself at all because of money. You want to use that time to work and get money. Please, sometimes, sew for yourself what you have been sewing for your customers. Wear it yourself, feel free inside it. And measure the quality of your work that you are doing for your customers. When it's bad, you know. When your work is good enough, you will feel good. And when people see you in a good dress, they will also call you and ask you who sold for you. And then you direct them to yourself as a designer. Therefore, if you need any designing work, I'm available. Alright, my name is Proven. I've served you right today. This is Apia. I'm in Apia's clothing shop, right in Accra, in Pokwasen. If you are in Ghana and you need a shop to learn from, you want to be an apprentice. As most of, many people have been contacting me probably, but now I'm saying I'm only doing tutorials on, on video, on platforms, on my YouTube and social media. But in case you need to learn, all right, offline, you can come to Apia's clothing and he is willing to take something small from you and teach you no matter how short a time you want to learn all right all right so we'll end the interview here i hope you have enjoyed the video thank you and don't forget to subscribe bye bye